Good morning guys and welcome back to another Ask Easy video. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Alessia and I'm a third year medical student. Today I thought it'd be an interesting video to let you know what is best to pack when you go on placement. I remember on the night before placement was starting, I was looking at my bag and thinking, what am I meant to pack? My list can kind of incorporate whether you're on a hospital placement or a GP placement, as having been on both, these are the core things that are going to be used for both of them. So without further ado, let's empty my bag. Now something that's really obvious is something as simple as finding the right bag for you. Now, that might be a handbag, it might be a satchel, it might be a rucksack, but you want to find out which is going to be most comfortable to you to carry around with you every day. Me personally, I like using a handbag just because it's easier to access things if I'm carrying it around with me all day. My suggestion would be to try and find a bag that's not going to be too small, but something that would be large enough to fit an A4 sheet of paper. And that means that any laptops you might buy, any worksheets, any pieces of paper that you're given will easily be able to fit into the bag that you choose. A little notepad is pretty much essential for when you're on placement. This will allow you to write down any information that you didn't know about clinical procedures or anything you might need to review or present to the doctor. Now from my experience, I found that the best size to go for is an A5 booklet. This size really does seem to be perfect with most medical scrubs, but even actually most trouser pockets. When you're out and about and carrying out any skills, sometimes you're going to need to put your things down. And if you buy anything that is bigger than A5, it's going to be a bit of a faff trying to find somewhere to place it and then remembering to go and pick it up at the end. Also, if you're keeping your arm up all day holding anything bigger than an A5 booklet, it can get a little bit tiring. And I know sometimes there's that feeling when you're at home and there are so many pens that you never seem to finish from the start, but actually when you're on placement and you're writing so many things down, it's so easy for your pen to run out of ink. So my advice to you would be definitely to bring a spare pen. Just keep it in your bag and it's always great to even lend to someone if they need one. Now because on placement you are going to be setting off quite early in the morning, it might mean that some people do end up skipping breakfast. And by the time you get from breakfast to lunchtime, that's quite a few hours to get really hungry in. Now you're not always going to have the time to be able to run down to the main concourse and buy yourself a full meal, so having a snack like a cereal bar or a chocolate bar can be really great to boost your concentration when you're feeling a little bit tired. Especially when you're on your feet all day, it is super important to stay hydrated and so keeping your water bottle with you as well can be such a lifesaver. Now, if COVID has taught us anything, infection control at this time and age is crucial. And therefore in the hospital, you'll be washing your hands constantly. With the frequent hand washing, your hands can become quite dry. So you want to make sure that you're looking after your skin and putting on hand cream as much as you possibly can. Something I've found being recently sold is a little hand cream holder that you can attach onto your scrubs or onto your lanyard so it's easy for you to access. Keep your little hand sanitizer in your bag can be really great to just keep your hands clean as you're going, especially at lunchtime when you're just before you're having something to eat. Something that I wasn't really prepared for on placement was the fluctuations of temperatures in one room compared to another. For example, some GP rooms might be really beautifully heated and nice and warm, but other times, understandably, the windows need to be kept open in order to keep the circulation of air going. And if you live in a chilly climate like here in the UK, if a window is opened any time other than the summer, it can get very cold very quickly. And therefore, a nice jumper or a cardigan that goes with your clothes can work really well. I do recommend if you're going to be bringing an extra layer, make it a zip up or an easy button up, button down, so that you can make sure that you're bare below the elbows for your appointments. Try and also bring something that has a material that's quite thin so that it's not occupying too much space in your bag and making it heavier, but just thin enough that it can be rolled up and stored away for when you need to take it off. Trust me from experience that having it is so much better than not having it. Sometimes when you're on placements, there is a great chance that patients might not show up to appointments or things that were scheduled might be cancelled. And if it's a really long time until the end of the day and you're waiting for the university bus, that's a long time to be waiting around doing nothing. So having your laptop gives you the possibility to be able to answer some practice questions. You might need to reply to some emails or even make some notes on things that you'd seen that day. And I say this out of complete experience please bring your charger because even though you might leave the house and your laptop might be completely charged if you are spending the majority of the day on your laptop then you really don't want to be left with a very quickly dying laptop 
But as with all valuables, you do want to make sure that you are staying careful. Your valuables are ultimately your responsibility and therefore you want to be keeping them at somewhere that's going to be safe. If your university or the hospital has provided you with lockers, those are usually the best ways to go because at least they're going to be under a locking key or a pin and so you're going to be the only one who's able to access it. To help you get stuck in, some doctors might actually ask you to do examinations on patients. In order to do most of these examinations, a stethoscope can be super helpful as it can tell you so much. Now, although there will be stethoscopes in the hospital, it can save a lot of time to bring your own and also gives you the added bonus of making yourself look more prepared to anyone who you might meet. So I hope I was able to give you a little snapshot as to what's most helpful on placement. And don't get me wrong, when you're on placement and in specific departments, some tools might be much more helpful than others. But as long as you have these core basics, you'll be ready to go for your first day and beyond. Let me know down in the comment section below or send me a message with any others that you think you'd like me to include in our next video. So I hope you enjoyed this video and until the next one, I will see you guys soon.